Rumours that Roberto Suzerbi could be in line to replace Thomas Tuchel now that, of course, he's departed Brighton. And I think I've got to get on with the story. Roberto Suzerbi to Bayern Munich, could it be happening? And, of course, we also have to take into account Kylian Mbappe has announced that he'll be leaving PSG at the end of this season. Could we be seeing Roberto Zerbi and Kylian Mbappe join the likes of Leroy Sane? Gnabry and Harry Kane at Bayern Munich next season. I know it is a bold claim to make. But you have to realise Bayern Munich have had a disastrous season where they have finished third behind Stuttgart in the Bundesliga. Not only have Bayern Leverkusen have completed a historic unbeaten run in the Bundesliga, becoming the first German team to ever win the title unbeaten over the course of a season, but Bayern Munich have also slipped behind Stuttgart in what has been, honestly, a horrific season by their standards. Knocked out of the Champions League by Real Madrid, but then, of course, they got, uh, it's Real Madrid, I mean, Real Madrid always seemed to find a way to win in the Champions League. But as to be said, Real Madrid, I think, were the better team over the two legs. But, I mean, with I've got to say this, but Thomas Tuchel, I think, was at fault for Bayern Munich losing in the Champions League when he um, substituted Harry Kane and Musiala or for a defender and... Eric Trouba-Moting, who is now 35 years old. Yes, remember him? He used to play for Stoke City, PSG, and quite a few other um, anonymous clubs that no one cares about. But yet he's still at Bayern Munich. Gotta say, his agent is an absolute legend. Getting him that sort of move and transfer to a massive club like Bayern Munich. But Bayern Munich, what the hell are Bayern Munich doing? Employing players like Trouble Moting. And, and as for Thomas Tuchel, well, with the way he's um, operated... Bayern Munich this season, he should be getting sacked. And as for Thomas Tuchel winning the title last year at Munich, he only won because Borussia Dortmund did what Borussia Dortmund do best and bottled the title on the final day of last season at the Bundesliga. Now, Thomas T uh, Roberto de Zerbi is a, an abrasive character, but it does make you wonder, do Bayern Munich need that spice? Do they need that loose cannon to shake the squad up? Inject some new ideas into the hierarchy? Because there's no top managers around currently available, apart from maybe perhaps Jose Mourinho. But I think at this point in time, I am I do see Jose Mourinho as being past his best at, in terms of being a top Champions League manager. And Roberto De Zerbi's style of football, of heavy possession football, keeping the ball, pressing teams on the pitch, I think would work at somewhere like Bayern Munich, and his sort of personality I think would get the best out of a lot of the players that Munich have got, like Musiala, Kimmich, Koretska, Muswawi, and if they can keep uh, maybe Afonso Davies if he remains at the German club. As for Kenny and Mbappe, and I know I've just mentioned this, yeah. Can you Mbappe, could he come to Bayern Munich? Because can you imagine Mbappe playing alongside Musiola and Harry Kane at the front three? Like, wow, that would be scary. Mbappe alongside Kane and Musiola. I know it is most likely that uh, Mbappe will be joining... Uh, Real Madrid this summer, but I did say in another video that Real Madrid are already signing Endrick in the summer and a Brazilian attacking player. Do Real Madrid need more strikers and attacking wingers? No. I mean, Bayern Munich, on the other hand, need someone to replace the likes of Leroy Sané and Gnabry on the wings because they're now getting close to the age of 30. Kylian Mbappe would cook in this Bayern Munich team that more or less most of the players just sit back and defend when they're playing against the big boys in Europe like Madrid and Barca and all that. And Mbappe can just focus on attacking along with Kane and Busiola.